Bismillah ar The topic of our discussion today is jaundice in pregnancy. The term jaundice comes from the French word jaune, meaning yellow. It is a clinical marker of defect in the metabolism and or excretion of the bilirubin. What is the definition of jaundice? Jaundice, also known as ictrus, is a yellowish pigmentation of the skin, the conjunctival membranes over the sclera, which are the whites of the eyes, and other mucous membranes caused by hyperbilirubinemia, which is increased level of bilirubin in the blood. This hyperbilirubinemia subsequently causes increased level of bilirubin in the extracellular fluid. Concentration of the bilirubin in the blood plasma does not normally exceed 1 mg per deciliter. A concentration higher than 1 mg per deciliter or more than 30 micromole per liter leads to jaundice. Jaundice is often seen in the liver diseases such as hepatitis or liver cancer. It may also be caused by obstruction of the biliary tract, for example, by the gallstone or pancreatic cancer or less commonly be congenital in origin. The jaundice can be of prehepatic or hemolytic in nature in which pathology occurs prior to the liver. It can be of hepatic or hepatocellular in variety in which the pathology is located within the liver. Or it can be post-hepatic or cholestatic in nature in which the pathology is located after the conjugation of bilirubin in the liver. What are the causes of jaundice in pregnancy? When the jaundice is peculiar to the pregnant state, the causes include intrahepatic cholestasis, severe preeclampsia, eclampsia or the HELP syndrome, acute fatty liver of pregnancy, severe hyperemesis gravidarum, endotoxic shock or DSC. Jaundice unrelated to the pregnant state include viral hepatitis, obstructive jaundice, drug-induced type of the jaundice, or hemolytic jaundice. When pregnancy is superimposed on the chronic liver disease, then the causes of the jaundice in that case include chronic hepatitis, the cirrhosis, or the tumors. Jaundice in pregnancy is a medical condition in which cholestasis occurs during pregnancy. It is also called intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy, which typically presents with a troublesome itching and can lead to complication for both mother and the fetus. Itching has long been considered to be a common symptom of pregnancy. Intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy occurs most commonly in the third trimester, but can also begin at any time during pregnancy. What causes cholestasis of pregnancy? The pregnancy hormones affect gallbladder function, resulting in slowing or stopping the flow of the bile. The gallbladder hold bile. When the bile flow is stopped or slowed down, this causes buildup of the bile acids in the liver which can spill into the bloodstream. Now, what are the symptoms of cholestasis of pregnancy? Those include itching, dark color urine, pale stool, fatigue, loss of appetite, depression, and the less common symptoms like nausea and right upper quadrant pain. Now, who is at risk for the cholestasis of pregnancy? The group of women include those carrying multiples women who have previous liver damage or women whose mother or sister had cholestasis. Now, how is cholestasis of pregnancy diagnosed? A diagnosis of cholestasis can be made by doing a complete medical history, physical examination and the blood tests that evaluate the liver function, bile acids and bilirubin. What causes increased bilirubin? Increased bilirubin is due to overproduction of the reticular endothelial system or by failure of hepatocyte uptake or by failure to conjugate or excrete the bilirubin or due to obstruction of the biliary excretion into the intestines. Now, if the mother is diagnosed with cholestasis, how will the baby be affected? The common complications in the fetus include fetal distress, the preterm labor or the stillbirth. Now, what are the treatment options for intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. Those include first of all anti-H medications, the orso deoxycholic acid, the cold baths, the dexamethasone and vitamin K supplementations. Also we have to suggest bi-weekly non-stress tests which involve fetal monitoring and contraction recording. Regular blood test monitoring for both bile serum levels and liver function tests. When we have bile acids in the pregnancy complicated by intrahepatic of cholestasis, there is reversal of the flow of bile acid from mother to fetus. There is increased concentration of the bile acid in the umbilical cord blood. Increase in the CA to CDCA ratio and taurine conjugated bile acids. Decrease in the percentage of CDCA in the total pool of bile acid and in the glycine conjugated bile acids. Now, the recurrence risk of intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy is about 90%. Another important cause of the jaundice in pregnancy is that of the viral hepatitis. The first type of hepatitis is hepatitis A virus infection. The diagnosis is confirmed by detection of IgM antibody to hepatitis A. Next type is that of the hepatitis B virus. The detection is by 
HBS antigen detection, but we have other antigens and antibodies which help us in finding out the type of the hepatitis B virus infection. You can study all the serological markers of hepatitis B by clicking on the I button in the top right corner of this video. Now, the neonatal transmission of the hepatitis mainly occurs at or around the time of the birth through mixing of the maternal blood with the genital secretions. In case of the hepatitis in pregnancy, the maternal symptoms include flu-like illnesses such as malaise, anorexia, nausea, and vomiting. So in case of the suspected hepatitis infection in pregnancy, along with HBS antigen, HBE antigen, HBC antigen, we also do liver function tests regularly. Another type is that of the hepatitis C virus infection, which is responsible for the chronic active hepatitis and hepatic failure. Hepatitis D virus infection is seen in patients infected with hepatitis B, B virus either as a co-infection or super infection. So thank you so much. That was all about genres in pregnancy. Subscribe on Ops and Gynae. Allah Hafiz.